Hey guys, me Mr. Casual, and in this video we're gonna be doing a fire reaction video to Morav versus Piotr Jan. Right, but before we get into it, ninety-five percent of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could please subscribe to help support the channel, I would really, really appreciate it. All right? All right, so let's get into it. Okay, all I gotta say is holy shit! I did not expect Piotr Jan to get dominated like that badly. Like, I, like I don't know. I just I've never seen anyone like beat Piotr Jan the way Mar Mar Marab did. That shit was crazy. He did 49 takedowns, you know, and out of 49 takedowns, um, he landed 11, but still to go for 49 takedowns, that shit was crazy. Marab's pace was fucking insane. Like, I I'm like shocked he didn't get tired. Like he was going so fast and so, and for five rounds, I was like, bro, what is this guy? Like unlimited cardio? This shit's crazy. I've seen a lot of his other fights, but that shit, that pace is crazy. Like Purian got dominated. All three judges they um it was it was a unanimous decision all three judges g gave marab 50 45 so that means pure Yan lost every round you know pure Yan lost every single round that's and he lost on um, 50 to 45 right and it's crazy because this now it's like now it's like where does pure Yan go from here look look at his record like pure Yan went from being like all the way to the top to now look he, now pure Yan lost his last four out of five tell me that's not fucking crazy right Check it out. This fight was the the knee, right? This fight, um, Aljamain Sterling, you know, won straight up. Some some people were like it's controversial, whatever. Ben O'Malley, some people are saying that was controversial, but it doesn't matter. He lost, right? I'm, I'm just saying, it doesn't matter if it's controversial or not because he lost, right? And then Marat, the, then the Marat fight, he got completely dominated. You know what I mean? So it's like if this wasn't Piotr Jan. I, I'm pretty sure like this was like a, re a regular UFC fighter, and they lost four out of five. Bro, they would get cut from the UFC. This is sick. Aljamain Sterling, Sean O'Malley, and Rob. All those guys aren't really good. It's not like, you know, Pyrrhion's losing to a bunch of nobodies, right? So it's it's crazy because, like, the next fight Pyrrhion has, he'd better win. Because if he doesn't win, and he, that means he's in a four-fight losing streak, and apparently right now he's in a three-fight losing streak, I don't think they're going to cut him from the UFC. But he loses one more fight, and it's a four-fight losing streak. He he probably will get cut from the UFC, but I, maybe even then he won't get cut. Maybe the UFC, like, you know, Pyrrhion has the skill. But for some reason, he just keeps losing, you know? It's, Pyrrhion has a skill for sure, bro. He can hang with these guys, except for the Marab. Except for Marab. But, like, the Sean O'Malley fight was close. Sterling fight was pretty close. You know what I mean? Like, he has the skill to be in the top five, etc. He's a former champion, bro. Like, but so that's why I don't I don't think they're gonna cut him, even if he has four losses. But at what point do you say, like, yo, like, we gotta cut you, bro? You know, it's crazy. He got completely destroyed. Like, let's look at let's look at the fight metrics, right? Look. So this is the total significant strikes, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, this is the total strikes right here, right? And this is the this is the significant strikes, right? So total strikes in all five rounds, right? So Piotr Jan um, landed 75 out of 143 significant strikes. Rob landed 147 out of 338 significant strikes. So he doubled him in significant strikes, right? Um, total strikes. Piotr Jan landed um, 87 out of 155. Murad landed 202 total strikes out of 401. That is fucking insane, bro. Holy shit. And then takedowns. Purion landed one takedown. Marab landed 11 takedowns out of 49. Tell me that's not sick. And then the control time. Bro, he has more. Marab has more than triple the control time. He hasn't beaten all the, in the, the numbers. He hasn't beaten every number. Significant strikes, total strikes, takedowns, control time. Completely just dominated that. Shit is fucking insane, bro. Like holy shit, bro! Like, like, like I'd never seen someone just dominate Piotr Jan like that. That he made him look like he beat Piotr Jan in every round. Like that shit is insane. Like, like there's so there's no point of even like a rematch because, like, let's say they rematch or whatever. Like, what's the point? He's gonna get dominated again. He got so dominated. It's like I can't see what improvements Piotr Jan can make in a short period of time that would like prevent him from. Getting, you know, like completely dominated again. He lost every round. Like, like, what is what can Pyrrhion do? If he, if he, even if he trains for the next two years, right? Like, he's only gonna get older. He's only, you know, what I mean, like, 
there's nothing he can do to beat Marab, I think. So it's like, like, Piotr Jan is at a crossroads right now. What is he going to do? He's on a 3-5 losing streak. He, lasted, he lost his last four out of five. The last, the last five versus Marab, he freaking, you know, he, he lost 50 to 45, unanimous decision. But then look at Marab's point of view. Look at this. Him, him and the other hand, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine fight win streak. You know what I mean? Marab, on the other hand, is on a nine fight win streak. And he's like best friends with Aljamain Sterling. So obviously, and, and training partners, obviously. And they've, and they've said many times that they're not going to fight each other. So Marab's on a nine fight win streak and just the, the completely slip Piotr Jan. Technically, he should be fighting for the title next, but he's not going to fight Sterling. You know, and I'm pretty sure Sterling's fighting Sahuro. So it's like, um, where, where's Marab? Marab go from here, right? He's probably going to fight somebody else. And then I think Sterling wants to go up to featherweight. And then when I, the second, I guess, when Sterling goes up to featherweight, right? That's when Marab is going to get the title shot 100%, right? Because Marab is, is probably going to be the next champion or whatever, possibly, hypothetically, if... Sterling leaves the featherweight. He's gonna be the next. Um, he's gonna fight for the championship and probably. And we'll see. And if he wins, he'll be the next champion. You know, this is right now. He can't fight for the championship, even though he deserves it because he's on a nine fight win streak and just completely dominated Piotr Jan. But he can't fight for the championship because, you know, Sterling's his boy. You know who we know who Marab should fight. Sean O'Malley. That'll be interesting to see because, you know, Sean O'Malley also wants to fight for the belt, right? I think Marab. I think Marab should fight Shadow Mal in the meantime. They fight, right? And then maybe in the and then after the Sohudo Sterling fight, right? Maybe Sohudo. Maybe maybe Sterling is gonna move up to featherweight after the after the Sohudo Sterling fight. You know, Sterling might move up to featherweight, right? And in the meantime, Marab can fight Shadow Mali, right? And then whoever wins that fight between Marab and Shadow Mali, right, can fight for the fight can fight the, can fight, the can fight for the for the belt, right? I don't know, or something like that, something along those lines. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, what you guys thought about the fight. Holy shit, I was, like, super impressed by Marab. Like, wow. And let me know what you guys think, like, what, where, where Marab should do after this. And let me know what you think about where Piotr Jan should do. Like, like where's, where's Piotr Jan go from here, you know what I mean? But anyways, guys, me, Mr. Casual. Remember, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could please subscribe to help support the channel, I would really, really appreciate it, all right? Be safe, everybody, all right? Take care.